Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and we've talked about the uh, new AI Explorer feature, which is actually has nothing to do with File Explorer. It's really a um, artificial intelligence type service that runs on the PC locally, of course with an NPU, so it requires a, a neural processing unit. What's interesting with it is that, of course, it's a feature called Snapshot, and uh, actually they identify it as snapshot and recall in some way. And we'll, of course, uh, look at everything you do so you can go back in time and ask it all sorts of questions of things you did in, in the past. And it will actually go and fetch that information, give you a file or whatever you're searching for. Uh, on the other side, a lot of people have said, well, it looks like an interesting, useful feature. And because it runs locally, um, it's not like, you know, the regular AI we have with uh, Copilot where things go out to uh, servers on Microsoft and then come back. Here it's really lo running locally only on the machines that have the powerful NPUs. But um, a lot of you have also asked, will there be a way to turn it off? And in a... Um, search for features um, we albacore x user that often has all sorts of interesting tidbits says that he's found a place where there's of course in the privacy and security options recall and snapshots will be there and will be available you'll be available to turn it off so when you click here you'll have a on off switch for those that don't want it don't use it or are just worried about any privacy issues it could cause, even though it runs only on the PC itself, there is an on-off switch. So it's not something you have to run. It's something you can actually remove. Also, you know, I've been thinking about um, the power that it takes to have all of that running in the background, even though the NPU is there to do that job and apparently has very little impact. Um, it still could maybe be something you want to turn off for some reason of... Maybe a gamer would have find an impact or something on it. So there will definitely be an on-off switch for that new feature. And um, it's apparent in the latest builds for Windows uh, 11 that we're having in the Canary builds. So uh, that's the good news. An on-off switch will be available. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.